I just want to do a really quick um, update whilst I'm here because I just might may have made a bit of a faux pas. It was, I was excited because the package arrived and it was a bit heavy and I lifted it upstairs and uh, I'm supposed to just keep my heart rate at 99. <laughs> The one at the top is my heart rate. The one I need is oxygen level. So my oxygen level is fine. My heart rate, I kind of, uh, yeah, put it up a little bit too much. I got excited because it's like a new, um, we've been doing out the new, uh, oh, catch my breath. I've been doing out spare rooms. So, so it's better for us to use as a studio and an office. And we've got some, some of the desks in and then we've got another desk bit arrived today. So I got really excited at not because I want to want to actually go and build it now, but I should rest. <sighs> this is a thing, right? Because mentally, I'm like, yeah, let's let's fucking go. Not always mentally. I'm just a bit like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But you have to like limit yourself. It's really weird. Here we go again. I am healthy, wealthy, happy, and vibrant. I am healthy, wealthy, happy, and vibrant. I am healthy, wealthy, happy, and vibrant. I am healthy, wealthy. Look at the my fucking air. Wealthy and vibrant. Keep telling yourself. Keep going. The reason, um, I'm actually a little bit uh, tired today because I haven't been sleeping great, but we recorded another podcast episode yesterday. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Red, Red Line, Line Online. <laughs> It's been that it's long. It's been a very long time. It's been that long. We've I forgotten the name. I was about to say Mimi Monday. It's not it's Sunday. I've got Mimi Monday tonight. But I think I'm just going to take it easy and probably do a little bit of a chill. Maybe just do a couple of songs. Chat and only stay on for like half an hour. Not do too long. So I can get some more rest. Recuperate, recuperate. Also, this week actually as well, I'm starting my first session at the gym with Nuffield um, Rehab. I've been assigned a PT. I was, I was with a different guy before, but he's moved to London, so I've just changed to someone else. But it's actually worked out really well. The new guy it was really on it, so it's his name's uh, his name's Owen, and I've just been talking to him today. We've booked the session in. For he knows all about post-exertion malaise, and he knows all about my, the envelope system, which is really awesome. He's really easy to talk to about everything and anything COVID, long COVID. So it was really nice actually to actually speak to, again, to speak to someone who gets it or just, he's actually listening to me, he's taking me seriously. It's just really, really nice. So yeah, it gets a bit emotional really. But I'm gonna go anyway. I really wanna build the desk. I really wanna build the desk. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Session number two done. I'm walking downstairs, so I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking down there. Just leaving Nuffield Health meals in front of me. I've just done my second session at Nuffield with my lovely instructor, Owen. It's really nice, I just did some cycling. Because I've done like weight training in the past, he's uh, tried a little bit of weight training with me. Obviously gentle, oh, it's really windy. So I have to build things back up. I have to do, do it to a point when I'm training where I get to a point of about seven on the difficulty rating as you go in how difficult it's starting to feel when I get to about seven that's kind of like my cut-off point where you just go okay and now you rest and I have to like rest for at least like a minute in between reps so my body rests and recuperates and doesn't get too knackered. I feel really good when I come out because obviously, even though it's really gentle exercising, it still gets your endorphins going. And it still releases like good chemicals in your body. So I always feel like, I've already done it twice, but I always feel really good coming out after the session, which, which is cool. Last week after the session, I felt fine the next day. And I've actually had my time in a month, so I felt a bit ropey, but because of that, not because of the training session. So that's a good sign. Yeah, so as I was saying, that's a good sign that I didn't feel any post-exertion malaise or anything like that. It's enough exercise to actually do your body some good, but without triggering anything nasty, which is really cool. Today I discovered, which was crazy, like I couldn't actually believe it, I, can't, I can no longer do a push-up like from my knees. And I went down 
and a lot of my face is this far from the floor. My body just went, no, not having it. You're not going up, you stand down. Oh. I almost like felt a little bit embarrassed because there's people obviously in the distance sort of working out themselves, but at the same time, they, they won't even be paying attention. You always like think people are thinking things, but it's, it's bollocks, isn't it? No, they're not even like, they'll be thinking about what they're having for dinner or something. <laughs> and then I, really, I like thought to myself, I was like, do you know what, you're here, you're doing stuff. There's a reason you can't do a fucking push-up anymore. And you're working on it, so get over it. All is good, all is well. My arms are a little bit aching now, actually. See, once Owen saw that I was struggling to do the push-up, <laughs> we then went and did some other bits of work that would work like all the muscles around my top and back area and my shoulders and my shoulder blades. So I did a bit of stuff on something called the TRX. I was like, ah, oh, that's familiar because we used to do that with, um, with Danny. We used to do it with Danny. Neil's been in today as well. <laughs> Neil's actually had a full on PT session this morning with Danny, our, our usual PT, and then come into Nuffield with me and done a session there as well, haven't you? How are you feeling? I'm alright, you're good. I can feel like chemically in my body, I just feel automatically happier. Not that I was miserable or not unhappy before, because I wasn't. Just feel a bit uplifted, a bit of a boost. It's a good, it's a good thing about exercise, no matter how big or small, it's good for you, isn't it? And of course, good healthy diet, which is what I'm going to do now because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. What are we going to have today? <gasps> We've got some We've got your favourite, we've got some watercress. No! <laughs> we got some watercress in the fridge, so we've got to make that into soup. Yeah. No! You actually liked it. Yeah, your one, my one was disgusting. Yeah, but you're judging everything on that no, one. Oh, watercress bag. That one <laughs> cock up the. Peanut butter on toast, good. I can't have toast. I can, but after, at the moment, I'm not introducing gluten till about two weeks' time, I think. I've got mango this week. I'm so excited, I love mango. Eh, hey, mango! Me and my mate from The Actress and Bishop used to play a game called A Mango. And it, it involved drinking mango zambuca. Of course it did. And every time you did the shot, it wasn't really a game, it was just a little little thing we did every time you did. We'd be like, what do you want to drink? Should I have an A Mango? Let's have an A Mango. And every time you went to take the shot, you had to go, A Mango! Oh, and neck it. I loved it. Try it. Try a mango zambuco. It's fucking horrible, but it, it's good fun. Oh, my mate Scotty. I haven't seen him in ages. I've been looking forward to seeing him and lots of my friends soon in the near future. Yeah. Right, and I think I've said enough today for now. I haven't missed anything out, have I? I think so. I'm going to go swimming next week, so that'll be fun. Oh, I'm having my vaccine. So that is going to be interesting. I'll keep you updated on what happens with that. Some people have reported that their symptoms actually get alleviated. It alleviates um, long COVID symptoms on some people. There's a certain percentage. So wouldn't it be nice and lovely if I'm one of those people? I'm in that percentage where it just cures me. That would be amazing. So, yeah, I'll keep posted. I'm sleepy. Did you get much sleep last night? I didn't come for it till three, so I probably kept you up. I don't know. No, you I were sound asleep when I, I came I fell asleep in. quite it was quick. fucking roasted in the room. I like it hot. It was disgraceful. I like it hot. I've just had my first job. So I'm on my way home. I managed to get in, yes. And I've had the Pfizer. So this is my update to tell you. I've just had my jab. I don't really know what else to say at this point. It's like, we've just got to wait and see what happens in the next couple of days. There's so much information out there that you like, but you don't know how your body's going to react. So you just got to wait and see. Apparently the guy said that with the Pfizer, the first vaccination with Pfizer doesn't affect as much as the second one. 
so the second one's a bit more symptomatic so it'll be interesting to see what happens just monitor it um but i'm really happy to have been jabbed because i just feel like a little bit safer when walking out and about for obvious reasons didn't hurt didn't hurt at all my arms are a little bit sore already from the gym session yesterday that I did with Nuffield. So my left one was a bit more achy than the right, so I, I had my jab in the right arm. I don't know if that's going to be a mistake, we'll find out. <laughs> How much does your arm hurt? Because you've had your jab already. Not a lot. Not a lot. Only dead arm. That'd be fine. Near and near as bad as fucking actual COVID, do you know what I mean? So. There we go. It's a really nice day today. It's, it's overcast, but it's really nice. I'm just looking at the sky. All right, and um, I'll keep you updated in a bit.